Hey YouTube, so today I am doing another review. Uh, I think that should be another review on a yo yo. And so I've been wanting to do this one for a while. And so, yeah, it's a Magic Yo Yo and P Loger uh, V1. And so, yeah, so first let's go over pretty much the main details of it. So, pretty much. Really good beginner yo yo. It comes super wide, really big around, and uh, yeah. Can't really do thumb grinds. Thumb grinds aren't really its friend, or finger spins. I, if you're like professional at finger spins, yeah, you could do it. But I have no idea. I, I'm not good at all with finger spins, so it's not really my thing. But actually, you might be able to do a thumb grind right there. I don't know. Probably not. I'm. I'm pretty good at thumb grinds, but I, I couldn't do that. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. Leads are engraving. There's a little kitty cat. And so yeah, so let me find a makeshift thing as usual. Oh, would you look at that? All right, here we go. I hope that worked good. Alrighty, so. I'm gonna get stringed up real quick. Ah, my hands are so cold out here. It's a, last night is like five degrees, so okay. And some metal yo-yo doesn't help. All right, so pretty much I'm gonna start out with my speed combo, which I have a video on that. So, oh, hold on. I haven't practiced that. Right now I have some homemade slogan cone uh, pads there. So it's a little bit responsive every now and then, but it's not too bad. I, it comes unresponsive. I just need to break in these pads a little bit. As a pretty good spin time because it's so big and it's kind of rim wigged. But uh, ooh, my hands are cold. Um, so there is one uh, one dislike about it, but it's not really big. Uh, mostly just. Um, alright, so I've had it for like three months, and then before that, my friend Oliver had it for like a year or two, and so just after old age, I don't know if it was like this when you gotta get anything, probably not, but it's really easy to unscrew, so sometimes when you're playing, you hit it on the ground or something, which you probably should do, but I can't really tell you not to, because I've done it a million times, sometimes if you do that, uh, It'll come undone a little bit, so you have to stop what you're doing, unwind it, screw it up and everything. So, yeah. Overall, though, it's been hanging on the ground millions of times. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. But if you do hit a yo-yo on the ground, what I find to do the best, uh, file it down, like a fingernail file or something. File it down where you hit it. Because a lot of times, if you like touch it right there, it'll cut you where it uh where it got messed up, so I always file it down. It also helps even it out some. So yeah. All right. So grinds wise, as a pretty good finish, but as you can see, it's a shiny finish, which isn't very good for grinds. But as a pretty good finish, except for right now it's freezing cold outside, so I can't really tell. But pretty good finish. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't really recommend it for grinds. This is mostly just like a beginner, like throw around, hit around, yeah, yeah. Uh, my friend Oliver got this off of Amazon for me, or we traded, but he got this off of Amazon for like, um, I want to say it was like 18 to $20. Sometimes you can find it for like 15 and 17 but that's rare. But yeah, so around 17 to $20 to give a good ballpark. Um, yeah, so Magic Yo Yo and P Loader V1, and yeah, totally worth buying. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment below.